Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Well, we had a question on one of our other videos. We've just done this with the Elementor page builder and somebody was asking how to do a hover effect where the text sort of fades in like we've got here. When we get off, it fades back out again. Really easy to do. We're just doing this with opacity or transparency. And I thought it'd be nice to show you how to do it with the Divi theme. So here it goes. Really easy. This will be a pretty short video. Let's enable the visual builder. And let's go down where we want to work. Right, let's just get rid of this little image we did in our last video. And we'll change the row to a double perhaps. Okay, I'm just going to, and this will work with any module, any type of text module you want. So I'm going to add a new module. I'm going to use a blurb just because it's there, just for the title, really. Um, so I'm going to put amazing news. Or whatever it is you have to say with yours, obviously. I do not want any content whatsoever. And I don't want any image. Like I say, you could done this with a text module exactly the same way. It's there. I don't know if you can see that very well. But let's go over and make it our own now. So let's go over to our design. It's our title text, remember. So we'll go into the title text. Let's firstly make it the color that we want it. I'm using white because I've got a dark background. Obviously, if you've got a light background, you're going to use a dark color. That's fine. I want it to be a lot bigger. And let's make a more interesting font out of it. So let's have a look. Title font up here. get something with a handwriting type script and Divi's got a huge amount of fonts that'll do fine there are a crazy amount of fonts on the, the Divi theme itself you're never going to run out of that I think I can probably make it even a bit bigger than that let's make it 50 perhaps yeah that's good okay we've got it the size we want we want to make sure that it's in the middle of our column right there that's great now let's make the fade effect itself because when we first see that we want to have it pale in the background and when we hover over it we want it to be fully white like this so still in the design let's go up and we'll close up our title text we'll go down to filters and we've got opacity down here and our opacity is transparency or th see throughness if you like and again common to most Divi modules if you hover up over the dark writing you'll see some icons appear. If there's a little arrow there like there is right here, we can set a hover state and a default state. Default desktop state is when our mouse is not on it. When it's not on it, we want it to be pretty pale. So I'm gonna pull this down. I want to be able to see it, something like that, say 25%. Then when we hover over it, we want it to be fully white. So I can pull this up to 100%. That's great. Now the time it takes by default to go from desktop state to hover state is 300 milliseconds, which for something like this would probably be perfect. But if you wanted to slow it down or speed it up, go to the advanced tab, down to transitions, and here's the actual time. I'm going to take mine about half a second. I'm going to leave all the rest just as it is. They've got a couple of different curves here. I like the ease in and out personally for hover effects like this, but play with them and decide which is best for you. So if we've done everything correctly now, this should work for us. So let's save our changes. Save the page changes. And let's exit the Visual Builder. We're going to roll on down. There it is. You can see it fine on the dark background there. When we hover over it, it's going to turn white. And that's quite fashionable at the moment. You see this on a lot of sites. Like I say, that is a very easy effect to achieve. So there you go, guys. I hope you found this useful today. That is how to get a text fade hover effect. If you have enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and WebDesignandTechTips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.